up, what is up? This is Alert Wolf here to bring you another review. And this one is of uh, Hakenden, uh, Eight Dogs of the East, Episode 5 Divine Protection. Okay, now, my voice just squeaked there. Before I get into this, I did this on my last review. Uh, a fellow YouTube. Uh, reviewer and Jinikata has a petition going around YouTube. Uh, this has to do with the copyright rules and regulations, and he wants to amend them. So right now, you're guilty until proven innocent. You don't have, you don't get to face your accuser, and if you try and lose, they have to, your accuser sues you. Mm. Well, it's very un-American, but uh, not to get all you know too far into it, but. It's a good thing to try to change it, so please sign the petition. Look at the bottom. I'm going to put them, you know, underneath the description. So, you know, it'll be a link to his petition. Sign up. It's a good thing. And, uh, all right. Now to move on. And I think I'm going to mention this for one more video. The next video I'm going to do. So it'll be it'll be in my, you know, it'll be in the last three reviews that, that I put out today. All right. So, um... This episode is all about the introduction of a new character. Now, the new character is another one of the... <laughs> it's another one of the... Uh, sorry about that. It's another one of the uh, members of the Four House. This one, she, she is the one who's in control of the snake deity or spirit. And uh, her name is Ayane. Now, Ayane is the sweet girl... She's a, uh, um, she, she is, um, oh, what do you call it? Why am I blanking? See, I love the beard, by the way. <laughs> um, well, anyway, she, she basically, she controls the white snake, who's huge, and, uh, he, he's kind of her, 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 you know what, he's more of her dad, to be honest with you, even though he's not her father, she is a descendant of his, but more like her father. He's more like her father. And, you know, he's raised her, and she's very fragile, so his power keeps her going. Um, and it's the start of a new moon, which is uh, funny. They, they, you know, similar to like a Inuyasha or something, these guys uh, have, have different, different uh, things happen to them. Um, Sosuke, for example, for example, he he's tired and wants to sleep all day on the new moon. Uh, uh, Muramasa, uh, it, it wants to like go not go wild, but like stretch its wings and it's agitated on the day of the new moon. Uh, Muramasa, not Muramasa, but uh. Um, basically, uh, I don't know, that's what I was thinking of. She's, they're both albinos. Okay, there we go. He's the albino snake, the white snake. Ha, white snake. And so, and she, she's an albino as well. I, I don't know why I blanked out on albino, but, alright, I, I'm sorry, but I did. Uh, okay, and so, the, uh, Basically, it's going down. And she's shy. She runs into Shino, uh, but it's like his his bird, the eyeball, was popping out. It scared her. She ran away. Uh, his, his sister wants because they're about the same age. His sister wants to make friends with her, and uh, you know. And honestly, I look at I look at a I, uh, I look at her as a possible love interest for Shino, maybe. Because, but uh, we'll see. Because we'll, we'll see. Because you know, there's that fetish, big brother, little brother thing going on throughout this entire anime. But you know, we're just gonna ignore that. Um. But uh. But basically, you know, when he bumped into her in the walkway uh, and scared her and ran away, he messed up her flowers. Now his sister. Uh, wants to be friends with her because they're about the same age, so she gave him flowers to go bring her. Now, he was warned, however, 
this may be a bad idea because the snake spirit doesn't like to be messed with and it's very vindictive. Yeah, I wouldn't go there if I were you. But they're like, she's like, no, you're going. So he, he won't. And uh, so he goes in there and the, he, he tries to call out to people, but the moment he enters the corridor, uh, the snake spirit, who, who has a name, you know, I, I gotta look it up, but it is, uh, Chike, 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 uh, uh, but, uh, or Chikage, or, yeah, there we go, or something like that, and, uh, and, but I think its real name is Hibiki, but, uh, yeah, just, he, he finds out his, his, his real name later on, but, um, but basically, it's pissed that he's entered without permission. So he's, he's and the bird, who's very riled up because it's the new moon, uh, wants to come out and fight. And he zaps his arm where the bird is because he didn't want the bird to come out anyway. But uh, the snake dude zaps him, and he's and there. He's like, he's like, how dare you defile my place? And then his brother shows up, smacks his head down, and tries to apologize for him. He's like, you're like a dog spirit too. What if I? I just killed a human half of you. And then he's like, no, we've decided, you know, the two, the dog spirit and him are, are one and the same, and blah, blah, blah. Aren't you? Well, he's like, if you want to apologize, cut off your arm. And he throws a sword, and what's his face? He's about to cut off his arm. So skate. Uh, du that duty thing, huh? But, uh, Ayane, uh, she, 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 uh, she's, she, she butts in. She's like, how? She, she gets mad, and she yells at him. He's like, what? You know, they defiled my presence and whatnot. And she's like, they came and brought me flowers and you try to make them cut off their arm? I hate you. It was a, it was such a teenage girl dad moment thing. And he had that look like, ah, oh, but honey, ah, oh, oh, don't hate me. I love you. It'll be okay. But, um, but, uh, yeah, so th that's what you had going on there. And then, so they apologize. She's mad. Uh. She ends up going to, to talk to Shino later. Uh, she's she's like, well, what if, doesn't that scare you? Or that thing on your arm? And he's like, no, he saves my life. You know, he's the one who's kept me alive this whole time and stopped me from aging. She's like, oh, you haven't aged in five years. He's like, yeah. She's like, he's like, doesn't that? She's like, doesn't that frighten you? He's like, it does, but you know, being left alone by time. But he's like, as long as I'm alive, I'm not alone. And you know, she's very sweet. So. You know, an eyeball coming out of somebody's arm could, would scare somebody, so I get it. Even if she is, you know, does have superpowers and whatnot. Um, so he, he tells her why he was there, uh, that his sister wants to be friends with her, and she's like, really? So they, they, you know, and she meets the sister, the sister and her uh, start BSing. Then the spirit decides to talk to uh, Shino, to get his advice on what to do about Ayane, uh, he be, uh, you know, and they talk it out, and he's like, well, you know, she wants to go to this thing, but I can't let her go, because I, you know, I'm the one keeping her alive, and I need to protect her, because she's weak, but I've grown too large, if I were to start moving around, it would cause, like, an earthquake, and he's like, well, what if we use the foxes, they're pretty powerful, they can protect her, he's like, yeah, that may work. And so, and they're always good with, with girls and whatnot, and, and there you go. So that was the solution, because uh, they had wanted to go to this lantern festival. And uh, and so, you know, so they, they end up going. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, and they, 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 they basically... They they have a you know they have a good time because he, he's a what's his face is out, out on a date with two chicks basically and th there you go you can't go wrong uh, and you know she manages to have fun the snake spirit realizes that he thank you you know he thanks Chino you know, for for allowing her to have friends because she hasn't been able to make friends because she can't leave um, and. Uh, Oh, and, and, and by the way, when they were having that discussion about leaving and not leaving, um, 
she did walk in and she's like, yeah, I never looked at you. It's like shackles. Cause he described himself. I feel like I'm shackling her. And she's like, you know, I'm grateful to you. So, so basically she gave the I love you daddy speech to him. And he's like, oh, okay. You know, she's like, I've never looked at you that way. You know, because again, that that's the relationship they have. Anyway, so uh, they, they do go to the festival. The festival's good. Uh, the snake spirit comes back to Shino and, and thanks him for all his help with her. Thanks him for be, being her friend and making helping her make friends. Then he, he, he tells him his name and he gives him his true name, uh, which I think is Hibiki. And uh, he's like, we're friends now. Is any friend of hers is a friend of mine? And he, he leaves him a scale. And he's like, oh, wow, we're friends. And that's pretty much the episode. Uh, this episode was about a three. You know, it had some funny, some funny points to it. It was very, you know, coming off of the last episode and all that action, this episode wasn't, you know, it's more of a cool down period. Uh, just so they can introduce a new character. We haven't gotten to the new story that's gonna, the new, you know, the, the next hurdle that they have to go through. But we did get the introduction of a new character. I like her. Um, and a possible love interest for him, who's not a, who's not a pedophile dude trying to bang him. I'm just saying, uh, well, technically not a pedophile because he's 18. But, uh, um, you know, so there you go, and, and, uh, uh, and I am enjoying the ambiguously gay anime that this is, but, uh, it doesn't bother me, but it's just funny, it's just funny, some, some of the, the situations they put him through, but, uh, yeah, so, you know, I'd give this episode a, yeah, like I said, a three, three out of five, you know, it was good, it was, it was funny, it was, it, it was what you needed at the moment, so to speak. Um, yeah. So, that's enough out of me. Uh, click it up if you like it. Comment if you must. And please, please, please subscribe if you can. And remember that petition's on the bottom. Uh, please fill it out. And uh, it, 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 it's, it's for some good change. So, there you go. And this is Alert Wolf signing out.